Hi guys, my name is Tom and I'm the Tech Chap and this is my quick unboxing and also first impressions video of the new Moto X Play. Now if you've uh, subscribed to my channel, which I hope you've had, and if you haven't you should do of course, uh, you'll have seen my review of the Moto G uh, a week or two ago, which I thought was excellent and very very good value for money. Now the Moto X Play is, slightly, is a slight step up, it's more mid-range, this costs about £250, uh, so it's sort of the mid-range uh, model in uh, Motorola's 2015 lineup. So uh, let's crack this open and uh, have a quick look at uh, what's going on inside. So inside the box we have the phone of course and uh, I don't tend to do unboxings, so I don't really think they're that interesting but as you'd expect you've got a, a manual power cable and a charging plug as well so uh, that's pretty standard. So let's get the box out of the way and uh, focus on the actual phone. So this is the Moto X Play. Now it's worth noting quickly that actually unfortunately the Moto X Play won't be coming to America, it's not coming to the States. It'll be available in other regions including the UK and Europe of course um, but for some reason Motorola have decided that the Play version um, of the new Moto series is not coming to America. Um, you have the Moto G, you also have the Moto X Style which is the higher end version coming to the States and also I think you're going to have more Motorola Droid phones later in the year but unfortunately if you're American and you uh, think this is a pretty good looking phone then you're going to be out of luck so that's a bit of a shame but for the rest of us let's uh, go through this uh, as it says on the tin quite literally um, we've got a 5.5 inch 1080p display 21 megapixel rear 5 megapixel front camera, a massive, and this is something I really want to emphasize, and it's going to be a big play, a big part in my review, 3,630 milliamp hour battery, that's huge. Uh, we've also got uh, 16 gigabytes of built-in storage, there is a 32 gig option, and we have a Snapdragon 615 processor, which is an octa-core processor, and with all the Moto um, phones this year, we've got my, uh, micro SD support for expandable storage, so that's all pretty good. So let's uh, do the thing that everyone loves to do, and take the plastic off. It's obviously the best part of buying any new phone. It's all very, very satisfying. And that is a very smart looking device. It feels a little chunky, perhaps a little dense, but it's not too heavy. It's 169 grams. And for a 5.5 inch phone, so this and we're talking the same size as an LG G4, uh, iPhone 6 Plus, this is a big phone. But actually, you know what? It feels really good in the hand. It doesn't feel that big at all. And this is a first impression, so uh, the first thing I'm noticing is how grippy this back checks, this back uh, cover is. It's a removable cover, and it's got a, a rubbery feel to it. Um, and actually, it feels really nice. It's quite rare I'm uh, immediately sort of taken by uh, the, the, how something feels so well. I reviewed the LG G4 uh, a few weeks back and was a bit annoyed at how its sort of sharp corners were made it a bit uncomfortable to use in the hand. But this actually is surprisingly really comfortable. So let's uh, turn it on. On the right side, we've got the volume button power button so just hold the hold the volume down there and uh, uh, not going on maybe we've got to charge it that'd be a bit annoying for the video oh no we're good just a, lo a longer hold so Android 5.5 sorry Android 5.5 that's that no, doesn't exist yet Android 5.1.1 is running on this so the latest uh, Android lollipop which is really really good uh, we've got dual spe stereo speakers on the front on the top one on the bottom bezel uh, and also it's worth noting that the screen to body ratio here is about 74.4% which is really above average and means that you're getting a lot of screen for not a massive phone. It's really uh, well optimized in terms of uh, the, the size of the phone for the size of the screen you're getting. So uh, let me quickly log in and do my uh, uh, details here. I'll be back in just one second. Now one of the best things about the Motorola phones this year, the Moto G, the X Play we have here and also the more expensive X Style which is coming later in the year is that they all run basically a near stock Android experience so Android 5.1.1 and what that means is even though it doesn't have necessarily the, the flagship the top end specs uh, we're not seeing the Snapdragon 810 or anything like that but it, what it does mean is it's still really smooth really great to use and really intuitive if anyone's ever used a Nexus phone uh, you'll recognize it straight away that it is basically a stock Android experience and that's very much a good thing now obviously we do have these orange bars at the top and bottom, that's basically there just because uh, the battery is a bit low, it's in power saving mode. You can disable that. So aside from being uh, basically a stock Android experience, you do get a couple of uh, Motorola specific features, including the Moto Migrate feature, which brings your content from old uh, phones, including iPhones to a lesser extent, 
over to this one so it helps you get set up a bit more quickly and also um, Moto has uh, an app which gives you a few more functions and also there's some motion gestures. So first impressions are the screen looks really nice, the colors are bright, this is um, at maximum brightness for filming purposes but it's uh, it's reasonably bright although it's not blowing me away with the brightness it'll be interesting to measure the nits and compare it against the competition but most importantly for most people and for me especially and for me as well is it's just it seems really fast really fast and smooth apps load quickly uh, reasonably quickly that is <laughs> so as I say we've got two gigs of RAM under the hood here along with an octa-core Snapdragon 615 uh, so mid-range specs but mid-range doesn't necessarily mean bad or budget or anything if anything it often means it can be more power efficient uh, and speaking of power the biggest thing which I'm looking forward to testing as I say is the whopping great uh, battery inside here which is 3630 milliamp hour in capacity the 21 megapixel camera on the back has a dual LED flash beneath it which is nice looking forward to seeing that and also the uh, as I say the 5 megapixel camera up front Left side we've got nothing going on, at the top we've got the 3.5mm jack with a uh, nano sim tray. On the bottom we have a USB 2.0 micro USB port for charging and file transfer. And uh, in the back, let's try, let's try and get in the back uh, as we were talking about the battery. And uh, let me just try and figure, there we are, a little hole at the bottom here. So let's, try, let's have a look at that battery if we can. Uh, it might be a little bit fiddly. Oh, that's alright, get a fingernail on that. And there we are. So this is a non-removable battery. That's something to uh, to consider. Uh, this back you can change. You can buy other ones if you get, buy this on the Moto Maker Store uh, from the Motorola website. You can customize this back plate color along with the accent color here, and also make this black, black or white. Although I tend to go for black phones because it makes the bezel blend in a bit more to the background, in my opinion. So as I say, non-removable, huge battery. So uh, that'll be good to see. But not a lot else going on here. We do have micro SD support. Uh, as well, which uh, looking at it, I presume is going to be next to the micro sim in here, uh, but it is there, so you can expand the storage uh, quite considerably, which is great because 16 gigs, which is in this one, isn't a massive amount, and you'll fill that pretty quickly. Minimal bloatware. That's another thing to say. I can't really see any um, like uh, any bloatware at all. Any extra apps that you'd want to go ahead and delete. Let's have a look in the app drawer. Uh, no, really minimal. That's great. So. Um, that's obviously one of the benefits of uh, Motorola being very close with Google. And the rumors are, of course, that the new Nexus phone will be made by Motorola. So uh, Google and Motorola are very close in, uh, at the moment, which is great. It means that the Motorola devices uh, are going to be as stock and as clean, as uncluttered and as, as uh, possible, which is uh, great for um, battery life, great for uh, storage reasons. Obviously, do subscribe to the Tech Chat. I'll have a full review of this coming soon. If you're interested in its little brother, in, yeah, sorry. If you're interested in its little brother, the Moto G, uh, which is also cheaper and a bit more of a budget option, that review is on uh, my channel right now. So you can shoot, go check that out and find out why I did think that was excellent. And I think this is going to build on that. Uh, as I say, this is the mid-range variant of the 2015 lineup. The more expensive style will be coming in September, I believe. Uh, so that'll be interesting to have a look at that. Um, but for this one, the most, the best things from the first impressions are really nice to hold. Doesn't feel that big in the hand for a 5.5 inch display. Rubber, rubber textured back is very grippable. I don't feel like it's going to fall out of my hand anytime soon. Uh, nice to see dual speakers. 21 megapixel camera is very, very good in terms of spec wise. We'll have to see whether that uh, proves to be true in real world use. But for a mid range phone. That's very impressive, and the screen looks nice. The whites are, are rich. The, as you can see from the camera, the brightness does fall off quite quickly at an angle there, so the viewing angles aren't spectacular. But viewed properly, as you can see there, its uh, colors are nice. Right, so whites are rich, and it's reasonably bright. So display looks pretty good, and it is only 1080p, so that's reasonably sharp. It's not QHD, but um, again, we are looking at only about a 270 pound uh, cost for this phone, which is definitely mid-range. I'll give you a dollar cost, but as I say, unfortunately, this isn't coming to the US, uh, so that's a bit of a shame. But, Americans, please do uh, check this out, check out my full review and other things on my channel as well, because, uh, you know, it's technology, it's still interesting, even if you can't get your hands on one. Uh, so with that said, thank you very much for watching, and uh, please do check out the full review, and subscribe, of course. Thank you very much, guys. See you again. Cheers. Cheers.